Today, I wanna to talk about mouthpiece upgrades. Looking at these two trumpet mouthpieces, they look the same, but they are indeed different. You wouldn't be able to tell on the outside, but when you play them, you could tell. When do I upgrade to a new mouthpiece? Typically, I do that in your seventh and eighth grade year, maybe ninth and 10th grade year, depending on the maturity of your playing and the player. A mouthpiece upgrade is the most cost-effective way to improve your sound. The mouthpiece is the most crucial part of your instrument setup. You can go out and buy a $5,000 instrument, use the same mouthpiece, and your sound isn't really going to change that much. So typically, you keep your starter instrument and you do a mouthpiece upgrade first. You can get better mouthpieces for anywhere from $50 to $200, depending on your instrument, where a new instrument would start anywhere from $500, even as a bottom level, all the way up to the sky's the limit. It's like a car. If you were to upgrade all the luxury of the car, heated seats, air-conditioned seats, blast and stereo, you're going to pimp your car out, but you're going to keep the same engine on the inside. You didn't improve your car's performance at all. You just cosmetically made it look cooler or better. But the car is still going to get the same gas mileage. It's going to go the same speed to get you from one place to another. The cool thing about doing a mouthpiece upgrade right now is this really can last you your whole career. I'm currently playing on a mouthpiece that I bought in middle school and I'm still using it today. Why do I need a mouthpiece upgrade? Well, this depends on several factors. How far do you want to go in your musical journey? If you want to audition for district band or be involved in like county band or even band past high school, you want to play in college, we strongly suggest you get a mouthpiece upgrade. Another thing to factor, are you happy with your sound? If you're not happy with your sound, then a mouthpiece upgrade could help that situation. I won't say it's an instant fix because there are other things that could be playing factors. What kind of an ensemble are you playing in? As a saxophone player, I use a different mouthpiece for jazz band than I do for concert band. And I'd even use a different mouthpiece for marching band. I use a different mouthpiece if I'm playing in a funk group and I have to cut over top of guitar players that have their amps turned up to 11 than I would in a jazz band when it, I'm trying to play really soft and delicate. I can't do all that on the same mouthpiece. So you have to consider what application you're going to use your mouthpiece in. So, okay, I need a new mouthpiece. I'm just going to go to the music store and buy one, right? No, don't do that. They're like shoes. So someone says, oh man, I got these new shoes. You got to try them out. They're pretty cool, they feel great. And I go and try them out and the arch isn't the right amount of support for my foot or the padding's not the right amount. For me, they're not comfortable at all. Just because that person recommended it doesn't mean it's gonna work for me. You have to try them out the best you can before you buy them. Now we have a list of ones that are kind of like safe. They might work in 99% or 90% of the applications. And really it's just used as a starting block. I'm still in the game of trying out different mouthpieces after playing saxophone for 20 years. As soon as something new comes out, I'm like, oh man, I have to try that. So we have a list below in the description of a bunch of mouthpieces that I highly recommend and band directors might recommend them. Maybe there's others there that aren't on the list. If you are a band director, go ahead and leave a comment with your recommendations underneath. Here is the important thing. Don't rush getting one. Take your time to try different ones. In fact, you might need to play them multiple times. The first time you play it, it might be great. And then after one or two more times, you're like, you know what, this isn't quite for me. Talk to your band director. If they don't know, talk to me. Find someone who is a professional on your instrument and ask for advice. Sorry, one last thing to consider with my reed players are when you change mouthpieces, you might have to change reeds as well. You might have to change size, you might have to change brand. So if you try a new mouthpiece and you're like, oh my gosh, this blows incredibly way too hard, then you might need to step down your reed a little bit. Don't just rule out that mouthpiece right away. Try your reed also. Reeds are a whole nother topic for a whole nother video.